So uh, freezing sperm involves the uh, patient producing a sample, and then that sample uh, being analyzed for to assess the viability of that sample. And then a cryoprotectin sample, a cryoprotectin basically protects the sperm sample from damage caused from the uh, excessively cold temperatures of freezing at, because the sperm is frozen at minus 197 degrees Celsius. So once this protectin is is added to the sperm, it in a way dehydrates it and can cause uh, damage to the sperm and it is frozen. Um, the other option of uh, freezing sperm as well is via testicular biopsy. If a patient, for example, does not have sperm in their ejaculate, a testicular biopsy can be done with a surgeon where basically a part of the testes is uh, biopsied, processed, and frozen for later use as well.